Andy Louie from Friday Night Methodist. Mabel Lou from the CCPA. Sierra Vera from Odessa. Oh, uh, Young Wall, First Bank. Chair of Colin Dress, Odessa. Um, is that it? Okay, um, first public comment. Um, Connie is down the street um, translating for a elderly Cathay Manor resident who was um, um, robbed just now of her purse by a, a, a well-known Chinatown um, transient idiot, or a transient idiot that hangs out in Chinatown. His name is Doris Ong, arrested multiple times. Um, what, what was the word you used? Piece of what? No, no, no. <laughs> You know, look, and also it's no victim, no crime. So without somebody there, and I know Peter Ina is there now as well, holding her hand, she is not LAPD with all due respect. LAPD is going to convince her not to press charges. You don't want to go to court. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. So she has made a positive ID. So this has to be a prosecutable case, right? Yeah, as long as the victim is going to go show up. Yeah, and then, and, you know, when that happens, when that happens I have no doubt, you know, Connie or Shirley will drive her to court, or maybe even Judy, you know, because that's the only way you can convince people to to follow up, follow through. And it is painful, because it'll be at least months from now, and, um, you know, so that's the way it is. Um, okay, any other public comment? What's happening at the park? Sure. Um, first. We're just here to let you know we're planning a big birthday celebration this year. It's not, it's going to be April 4th. Oh. Um, and uh, Where is it? everyone's invited. It's it's Los, Park, Los, Los Angeles. Park. Outside. Right, okay. Los Angeles State Historic Park. Um, it's sponsored by the California State Park Foundation. They're celebrating their 50th anniversary. It's the 50th anniversary of Prince Day. And it's going to be a big community celebration. We're going to have food and music and community booths and activities and art and um, join us. Okay, yeah, I think in, in the future also, if you can just go ahead and email us that, it'll save you some time and resources. Yeah. But I was always a few copies of the show. Yeah, then we can send it out. George, we also wanted to just uh, thank Chinatown BID again for your support of the Homeboy uh, Campfire November 20th, which was wonderful, and then our community celebration December. Yeah, the attendance at, in, in the drizzle, I thought, was outstanding. It was amazing. Yeah. But um, just so you know, and it's not, I haven't received many official notifications, but on, on Sunday, April 4th, is it Sunday? It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. Oh, okay. On that, I, I want to say that, no, then it's the, the, the Sunday is um, Nike is planning a half marathon, which, of course, we push back on. In, the, in Chinatown, excuse me. Well, it'll run through Chinatown, you know, and it's going uh, to be terrible for business in the community and with no impact to the community. Look, I, I, if, if they even just gave the community the money that they spent in hiring the, the Englander Kanabi and 
you know, at whatever, at least, you know, 400 bucks an hour. Can I get more? Oh, wait, that would be good for some benefit to the community. And we'll touch more about why this is such a negative impact. So Sunday the 5th is Palm Sunday. It is, it is. That's why I remember it was Palm Sunday. Um, so, any other? What time? Um, we're, it's probably going to start around 11. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, you'll, you'll hear we'll, a yeah. just a safety This is just a preliminary safety yep. date, but we'll have a player with more information on it. Yeah. So there'll be plenty of opportunities if anybody wants to have the food. Yeah. Plenty of opportunities for engagement. Okay. And maybe anything else? Okay. I guess this will be a good time to talk about the, the, the complimentary closure from last weekend, um, the one light. Uh, which I won't hurt, hurt our business a lot. And, uh, the N95 is the most frustrating part, I think, is that when I would go to talk to traffic control officers, they didn't even really know which streets were closed or allowing traffic through. So just communication in general, like, never got to us. So it's frustrating. But in the end of the day, when the actual march ended, like, it did kind of offset the distance a little bit. So. So, are there any races that don't run the right through the Well, um, <laughs> specific to the, okay, just a little bit of background. From November, the first one was November November 9th. It was a rise up run. No communication to the community. Um, and shut down um, Alameda Spring, Alameda the Spring, um, for mo most of the morning until early afternoon. And the issue with any street closure is never just a street that's closed. It's one block in each direction at least. And, and therein lies, you know, beliefs may be able to weather the storm. Um, but, the, 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 you know, the small individual mom and pops, if you miss one day on a weekend, that's essentially your months. That, that's the difference between making, making it or not on that month. Um, and that, again, was um, a run against addiction produced by folks in the East Coast with zero, you know, when, um, Next, and, and we have photos of this, of empty parking lots, you know, at Police and at Nick's Cafe and other, you know, Chinatown places. And when um, I had Nick Cafe reach out to the run, they hung up on him. Um, CD1 was non-responsive, you know, and I heard, and then again on January 5th, the New Year's race, did the same thing. Um, CD14, the rudderless, leaderless council district, um, waive the street, you know, street or uh, box street culture petition. So that's why they didn't have to go through the process. Even for us, when we, we used to help produce, well, still, you know, the Chinese, the Golden Dragon Parade, we had to do the, the, the box petition. And we have to do that for state park events. In the state park, we only close the street from 10 p.m. to midnight for egress only. So it doesn't impact the merchant. And a very short section of spring. And then, um, and then the, the New Year's, the the, oh, um, <clears throat> the One Life March, um, it started the year after the Women's March. The women, the first year of the Women's March was probably the best um, non-Chinatown Summer Night, non-Chinese New Year um, business day for Chinatown merchants. Um, and then the next year, um, the Archdiocese he started the One Life March to protest. Um, and here we are, you know, they, they, before they would run down again, spring to um, Alameda the Spring, which is bad for police. But now they're, they're running down on um, Broadway. How many Catholics are there on the 600 and 700 block of Broadway? <laughs> That's, you know, where we're at. Um, and then, um, oh, the only good thing this year was um, Highland Park Brewery was rented out for a, a private event. Um, and I pulled up at about noon. And um, they, they rented it out just to protest the march. And the stuff that was going, said, being said was not PG-13. And it was very, it was, it was interesting to see. You know, I thought it was kind of brilliant. Have a few beers, protest the march. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the video clip later. And you can decipher it yourself. Um, so anyway. We we're, we're talking to Bureau of Street Services, now Streets LA, and of course, Council Office, no, but completely non-responsive. Um, did, did, did Ricardo get back to you the last time you reached out to him? No. 
But somebody, somebody from Building and Safety yeah. did. But at the very least, hi, I can't help you. And that's Ricardo. And I think I, I've already told Debbie, I want him out. And no. Okay? You, you're either responsible or you're not. And, and don't be responsive to me, that's fine. But we're responsible to somebody. Um, okay, anything else? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Um, so, Boston Closet has two parking garages limited, one on train, one on college. We can work if the spring activity is closed, but they weren't going to put them on the college street. So, people essentially take them home during the event. Um, I had a resident who said they'd be arrested if they tried to go into the parking garage. Um, and then also that day, my husband went outside and was trying to figure out what was going on. They were told, basically, nobody knew. So very similar to what we were told. Nobody knew anything. Nobody knew what happened at the end. Um, but we just had a lot of very unhappy residents. I already reached out to um, um, DOT's um, supervisor for special events. Um, I had a meeting with him last, prior to that uh, for the tank for the Little Dragon Spray. And just to let them know, hey, you know, please let our people know. But this is going to take, this will be a, you know, because we're, we're given literally no time to, to deal with this. And, and other than that, we know now moving forward, one life, women's march, good, one life, bad. Mm -hmm. And that's all I can say. And not the same thing. Um, anything else? Um, we still don't have a, a quorum, correct? How close are we? Nine. Um, the board member election results. Um, um, Ron Louie, Jason, Jason Fujimoto, Wilson Payne, Martin Lee, Andrew Bender, Scott Lee, Jennifer Kim, Alexis Redinger were um, elected. And this will be only for one year term because we are in a renewal process. And um, we will, uh, the, the petitions will be going out um, hopefully in, in March um, that I need to get a quick turnaround on um, to, um, to move forward. And then we'll have the re-election um, if the BIE is um, re renewed in um, for 20, 21, 2022 election. Um, but we also need to, you know, um, think about appointed board members for this year. How, how many total? How many total board members? Oh, uh, I think there's 15. So we, um, so we, 15. So we can have um, um, up to five appointed board members. In the past, um, we we've, we've um, um, had um, Daisy Ma with um, CACA and also you know the CCDA and um, Wayland Tan as a community um. Former resident, longtime stakeholder, East Wind Foundation for Youth, blah blah blah. Then we can certainly consider other um, other appointments. Um, but um, proactive, you know, to get something done. Okay, Chinatown Development Project updates. Um, College Station. There, there's um, a hearing <coughs> within the next. 60 days, which will um, give us additional clarity. But right now, Judy, if I'm not mistaken, um, it is only the, C the CTED CEQA. Um, is it a court hearing? <coughs> I'm not sure. Um, seeing what Jenny wrote. No, it has to be because yeah. they filed a lawsuit, they exhausted all their administrative remedies. Okay. Um, yeah, so if the lawsuit is based on the grounds, and I think it is, there will be not the lawyer, right? Yeah. But still, it's it's a year, another year's delay, cost of hundreds of thousands of dollars, money that can you know, that's a project that we pulled out of cash in twenty thirteen. I mean, I guess it hasn't reached the, you know, reached the, um, Blossom Plaza time frame yet, or the State Park time frame, mm -hmm. but you know. At least for me, I no longer have the you know the luxury of time. Who? Mitch, the lawyer for the No, no, the, the lawyer for the idiots. Of yeah, 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 yeah. What's the 
attorney's name? Mitch Side. Mitchell Side. That's it. So, look, he represented um. IHOA. No, no, but he also represented. He is the he is the definition. Yeah, he's the definition of a, of pay the play. So just whoever he can get money from. Okay, and you have five acres sitting vacant. Um, well, left UPS trucks. Mm -hmm. um, Harmony um, Damon was in town, and I we missed each other. But he's starting on working drawings, and he hopes to bring round this year. I asked him why um, the site is being vacated now. He says that um, he, there's LGBT concerns, and he needs the you know site control, which is why for Broadway um, closed early or closed. But they were supposed to retire anyway. But of course now it's become a cause that a oh, long time China down. It's not even that long, right? 14 years? That's a blip, right? You know, when you can talk 40 years, that's all to me. Um, but anyway, so now that's a, the new cause. Llewellyn is still ahead of schedule. Um, La Plaza Village, I think um, Block A is, is leased. Uh, Block B e is well underway for residential leasing. They signed up um, Buffalo Wild Wings. But look, like it or not, it's, it, it's it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a legitimate business that's going to employ a lot of people. And, and oh, and CBS is under construction. Yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings. Jennifer, you've never been to a Buffalo Wild Wings? It's not even good. Stephon, you got to take her. Come on, it's not bad. I'll take her. I'll take her. Yeah. The place you can build drinks and it's fine. We'll take it. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings is CBS. Yeah, that's the only yeah. one. And, and Chase. You know, Broadway and Yeah, the father built it. Um, Chase, had to, Chase went away because um, Chase could not deal with the county's um, requirement of um, hiring um, former, former, formerly incarcerated individuals, which was a county requirement. So what bank is going to hire? <laughs> I'm sure there's other finer details, but that's that's essentially it. Um, any other questions on those sites? I had a yeah. yeah. I, 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 or no, no, I'll to make available to hire. You don't have to hire. I think it was a, you must. It, that must be part of your in, employee pool. I don't know exactly what the, 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 but that's, you know, the world, it's, it's all about our restorative justice now. Okay, no, no, you know, no crime is committed because you're just a criminal. It's, it's, you know? So, anything else on the, on the project's update? Any other questions? Um, we, we've received some renderings from, um, from Buena Vista. Um, you know, from a, from a Spring Street side, I think we're working on having another um, um, direct stakeholder, meaning people at this table um, meeting, like the one that we went to with Sean a while back, um, to, to discuss um, um, the new plan. But it's kind of where we're at. Um, there's a, I think, to a restaurant and a beauty salon or a hair salon will be opening up across the street at now we're calling it the United Foods um, site. I don't know if any of you you know have seen um, uh, the photos of the you neon. No, it's for the site you can have a food and Jason referring to it. The Moy family owns it. The sign that had, had not been lit for I, I can't ever remember Larry, what's that you remember? Oh no, more than twenty. I don't ever remember seeing it. Lit. Um, anyway, they, you know, um, they, they work together to get it lit, and it's, um, it's beautiful. It totally changes the swap. Um, what was the difficulty getting lit? Huh? What was the difficulty in getting it lit? Money. That's 30 transformers. So, you know, at a normal sign company price, that's, you know, um, so I, I ended up. It wasn't a bureaucracy. 
Huh? It wasn't a bureaucracy thing. Just, oh no. Well. So anyway, I, I purchased the, time, the transformers from our our lighting um, wholesaler. I rented the lift. Um, Jason, you know, the only family is reimbursing, you know, for that. But then it's finally lit before tiny meeting. I'll show you a photo later. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, and and then of course the, the, the day they start working on it, that afternoon, there's no power. What do you mean there's no power? <laughs> anyway, crisis averted, and, and it's all that. Uh, and and there's going to be Costco Sandal that should be opening by the early first week of um, February, and then um, what's the the hair salon? Yeah, there's an, another uh, hair salon that's going to be opening up on July. Um, Casa Sando is an API for home, home, so. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Who? Daniel. Daniel. Japanese, Chinese? Korean. 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 A Korean guy opening a Japanese inspired restaurant in Chinatown. Hi. <laughs> he's best, Andrew, he's best known for his um, $70 white new sandal. Why do we you sandal? I mean, it won't be on the menu, I think, but it, anyway, so it's, it's there. And wax paper is still selling out on some days, so it's, you know, it, it is what it is. We sent the used to um, buy a soft serve the other day. Did they like it? Yeah, but it was dripping. I did not know you were going to send one youth to buy six soft serves. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Any, any other new projects that we can... Um, all right. Um, so Tuesday we had um, um streets, streets LA had a meeting on um street vendors. Um, <coughs> surprisingly, and I had let Saigon Jelly know because they're 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 the ones one of the ones most impacted by the fruit vendors directly in front of their thirty year old business on on the eight hundred block Broadway. Um, he showed up, came up from Orange County to attend. So him, myself, another um, African American property owner from South LA, were the only business interests in our room full of activists. Um, hmm. The first complaint I heard about was that this poor street vendor, first of all, needs help with their I-10. I'm looking up I-10. What the hell is I-10? Does anyone know what I-10 is? I-T-I-N. Here, did you look it up? Yeah. 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 Regardless of um. Well, I didn't. I didn't hear it referred like that. Regardless of status, you can you can obtain that yeah. to obtain your permit. But they'll have to go to four different places to get their permit. You know, it's like I'm thinking, what business owner here did not have to go to four different places at least? And nobody is helping us. Okay, the the, the African American owner from the from um, her property says. My insurance company paid out a hundred and seventy-four thousand dollar claim, unbeknown to me, because somebody tripped on the vendors. The victim sued the city. The city sued the property owner, and as a matter of course, the insurance company, because they'll take the path of least resistance, paid out a hundred and seventy-four thousand dollars. This is recently. Her insurance went up seven thousand dollars a year. So that's forever. So. Um, that's where we're at. So, but after that meeting, <coughs> County Health came out yesterday. Um, Department of Agriculture and something came out today. And uh, they're at least, and we've outreached, and we've taken that notice and, and trans, you know, translated it into Chinese for the Chinese, you know, um, seniors. And it's been tapped out a dozen times. But even though licensing requirements start, start at January 1st, no penalties will be will, will be imposed at the earliest until July first. So, you know, if you're a on Delhi or something, the same thing you are on the street, much more visible, and we clean up the sidewalk and pick up the trash after this. You don't have to pay. Anything. You're talking. To, I just I was out there this morning. You know, each vendor has at least thirty boxes, thirty cases of fruit. Do the math. So this is not, not a small. You're not making money for something. Like that. This is a, they're, they're making thousands of dollars a day. But please reach out to Ricardo and tell uh, <laughs> and, and, and tell CD one. You know, well, of course, we've met with CD one before. The next easy easiest step 
is to make the 700 and 800 block of the point of bond on the east side of the And um, any other thoughts? Please do not buy from the street vendors, the sidewalk vendors, ever. Okay, buy them in Lincoln kind of Park or Lincoln Heights, <laughs> not in China. And oh, and the health department was at this meeting as well, so I asked them again. Are there any legal fruit stands or the cut up fruit? No, there's not. Because no fruit cart, unless the fruit cart has a built in hot cold water sink, um, it's not legal. What about the hot dog? Not legal. Yes, we all love bacon wrapped hot dogs, but. And you're going to see one at the at least four to six at every intersection. No, wait, the, China, the Golden Dragon Parade. The carts that have, like, the trailers are legal. Yes. The trailers. Those are, uh, uh, and they're the, like the food cart, the, the, you know, food truck program. How many do you see of those at, during Chinese New Year's? You see the, you see, you see the, the Home Depot shopping cart with the propane, unsecured propane tank, and the 400 pan on top. So. Please, please do. And, and during Chinese New Year's, you're going to get it's going to be very yes, unsecured propane. And, and we we've, we've talked in Spain from a blossom plaza. I think um, you know an email to fire department, to all the you know fire department and PD together. We'll, we'll we'll address that. Send we'll send one out before before next weekend. Okay. Um, but but have a. I have a fire extinguisher handy up close to the front end of the bottom bottom. <laughs> 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 you know, have you seen the Defend LA stuff recently? Yeah. Or, or were the, the big bad BID are the, 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 the ones oh. that so you know are the ones dealing pushing yeah, away the homeless? Yeah. Yeah, and thank you. Pushing away the homeless and dealing with the, the legal vending. You know, look, we are, as a community-based organization, we are the business improvement district. We want to improve business for our merchants. You know? Yes, the permit process started as of January 1st. I sent the board the, the actual <laughs> rules and regulations. Other than Andrew, which I'm pretty sure read, I would bet nobody else read it. And that is very clear in terms of, um, other than it's very clear in terms of what the do's and don'ts. And it translates to every language known. Although the only language you really need to translate it into here is Spanish and English, or Spanish and Chinese. Um, and everything they do is illegal. There's not one thing, you know, one rule on that two page, two pager that's not that they're not violating, but it won't start until you know it's on the first, and it's you know, and I don't see any change. And then what are you going to do about all them, all, all them, you know, all the senior, the Chinese senior vendors, <coughs> and this mostly in you know, in this now on the 700 of block. All the fruits sitting on the ground. As a long time community member, Wayland, what do you think? Well, for the businesses, they're not paying taxes, they're not paying for business permits, they're not doing anything the right way. They're just doing whatever they want. Okay, and then you also see um, at 788 North Broadway at the bus stop, there'll be a, a nice little mountain of cardboard boxes every single day for the BID to pick up. And all the, you know, all of the leftover food on the sidewalk makes for a nice um um molded, you know attraction. Yeah, I haven't sent you guys any dead rat photos at all. No. <laughs> it's been cold so it's been cold. <laughs> nice great cats came back. Oh really? Yeah they were in the house last night. No, but, but, just, but, but, but those but those rats I mean those <laughs> No, but part part of the issue with with the with the cats is that our some of the Ch Chinatown methods of um, 
um, extermination makes for bad um, bad results with the cats. That makes a lot of sense, but sometimes they don't look well. Yeah. Oh no, no. They'll they'll yeah. They're gonna. Th Clothing. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, you have one next to you now, right? and then Wadeli. Yeah, she's right there, right, right. She's usually sitting on your planter. Oh, well, but she's not something blue. I'm not blocking my driveway. I'm not out there. But um, on the street vendors, mostly fruits and, and uh, souvenirs and stuff. Is there ever consideration of I don't know, maybe leasing a parking lot and having them in a designated area where they could pay a fee and everyone just go there, right? And, you know, funny you should say that. The African-American woman, um, who was a community activist as well, the, she was a property owner, said she did that in South L.A. She put them in one of her vacant lots, and the city then um, got on her for permitting for um, use of that lot for... Use of land for her? For something that she wasn't allowed to... Uh, Open air sale. Yeah. Um, but I don't know that this is something that we want to... In Oh, okay. Saturday and Sunday. Well, you want me to run out my face? Yeah. <laughs> okay, be the change that you want to see. <laughs> you think about it. Let's see how much. No, I'm not big enough. I mean, for you got to start know. somewhere, you know. And, and and fine, even if we. But again, who's who's going to insure it? First of all, I think mean, that's the first and foremost. Even if you derive no income as a property owner, you know who's going to? How are you going to? Or you end up with a hundred and seventy four thousand dollar payout. We can do that in the freezer. But I think you could create a, a farmer's market or something that sort of bring that coolness of you know, ha having a farmer's market in, in China. You know, I mean, that could attract some, some people if you just name it as a farmer's market. Um, I, I'm, I'm... Or close one of the streets. <laughs> we try not to close streets, remember? Or alley. Uh, <laughs> Is there a way to enforce them to start your time with them? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, you can tell them. If they say no, ask you. What are you going to do about it? Well, I, I think those are, those are, these are all things that we're dealing with on a constant basis. All we're trying to do right now is to keep the community clean and safe. And, and um, the, you know, you, you can't keep up with, um, you know, with just the vendor stuff. Forget about the homeless stuff or the taggers or I could go on and on. Um, so that's kind of where we're, we're at. But I, 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 I think it does help um, when other people are, especially in writing, or when opportunities arise, address this with, you know, whether it's council office or, or streets plus, um, so, you know, or LADOT, whatever, so people can, um, you know, so they're not just hearing it from me. And then when they ignore you all as well, then, you know, we have a, well, they, 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 they have to get reelected at some point. Yeah, we've already, I've already, you know, we've already taken, um, who was it, um, so the Dragon and several other Chinatown, long time Chinatown business owners to meet with um, the council member a couple, I want to say early last year to ask for um, Chinatown to be excluded like Alvera Street, Dodger Stadium, Staples Center, um, Hollywood from the, the bending, because there's no bending zone. Um, totally fell on deaf ears because it was, um, whole platform has been um, um, one gill bill, the driver's license for um, everything about the undocumented. How about those of us that are, that forget about documentation, we don't have to care, but that are, that actually pay a business tax and everything. So those are, it is, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I, I, I need, we, we need to, you know, have a unified campaign. And I think it, it helps with, you know, China, you know, China cooperation. Um, because ultimately, it, it's, it's, 
Okay. So, all right. Marketing events update. Um, midnight temple ceremony Friday. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll send. I'll, I'll, I'll email somebody the, the, the media release. Um, Ms. Shanahan will be there. Um, we've already you know, met with all the city agencies. <coughs> I, I expect a, a larger crowd because it is a Friday with no school the next day, and hopefully it's, um, it's, it's peaceful. Um, did they ever ask East Wind to, to, to participate? They do, but every time they give us you know, not enough notice. So. And with this two days notice is sufficient? <laughs> they won't even give that. No, because I, you also have different levels of, um, it would be nice to, um, and I know that money is, is always an issue because the, the Lincoln Heights or the Monterey Park folks, you know, so, and, um, okay, Chinese New Year's, um, is, um, Go Dragon Parade, same thing, when is 3 o'clock, you know, um, same parade route, um, Chinese New Year Festival, um, we'll be at Central Plaza. I think that um, you know we we arranged for a, a pretty good um, um, lineup. And it, you know, there's uh, a, a drum group from China, um, not from Wuhan, <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, that's um, it was it's touring the United States. Um, so if you think um, like the the drum scene and the great the Matt Damon's um, the Great Wall, it's something like uh, akin to that. Um, of course, East Wind will be performing. Um, there's um, a young, um, I can't remember what. Conan Liu. Yeah, Conan Liu, uh, who is um, um, a Chinese magician who is excellent that I think um, um, people will enjoy. And we also have um, you know, Catherine Ho, who sang Yellow from, um, from Crazy Rich Asian uh, performing. I'm assuming that the acapella group never. I like that they were known that. No, no, Scott said they were not good. I didn't, you know. But did they? Did they, they, they love it on Instagram. Yeah, all, about that. all right, and then, um, oh, and then, so um, the LA Central City Association connected me with um, uh, Maria Camacho, who is the um, community affairs person <laughs> for uh, the LA Rams. Um, Camacho's is actually from Camacho's, the, you know, the, the cantina um, at El Pueblo. And, um, the Rams will be participating in the, in the parade this year on a limited basis with just Rampage. Rampage is a mascot, and a few of their um, is it on? And a few of, and a few of their uh, um, cheerleaders, and they will have an on-site presence um, at the festival. We're looking at bringing out, um, you know, having them bring out their, their VR experience of the, the new stadium and um, you know, something. And um, the Rams will be, uh, you know, paying a, a, a nice little entry fee to the, you know, to the Chinese Chamber of Commerce um, for participating, and we hope to grow with that. The, the original hope was that Taylor Rapp, who was the uh, Chinese um, player um, for the Rams, but he was committed. Hopefully, and as we move on, um, another exciting thing happening at State Parks is um. What the hell is the name? You've all some. Um, oh, uh, Sweet Land. Sweet Land, yes. Um, it is um, opera, not in a traditional sense, but you've all Sharon as um, he did hopscotch, he did the thing at Union Station where people put on um, headphones. You've all was also a, a MacArthur Grant recipient, uh, which is a, it's called the Genius Grant, and it's a, a chunk of change that's, um, you know, and he's definitely. February 29th, yeah, uh, that I'm a cover. Um, we're possibly working on a free performance on the 28th. We will be doing the reception um, after the opening night, so which will be at 10 o'clock at, um, um, at Capital Milling Company. Hey, Capital Milling Company, have you guys? Come by Monday, I'll let you know. Monday we have a little tour. Um, it, it's, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, but from the inside, the, the, the upper, the, the top unit has wood originally um, Resurfaced from Capital Money Company, repurposed. The, the second floor, I don't know how many square feet, but significant, um, over 10,000, has wood from somewhere in the Midwest from 1860. So, so, so the Rebuilding family did do excellent, excellent work you know, with that site, and it's absolutely beautiful. 
pumps. Um, no tenants yet, but the owner is told. Retail is just home right now. And Steve had wanted to lease it out um, whole floor at a time. So now he's, he's take going back to maybe 2,500 square foot, which is, you know, but it's still, 2,500 square foot is still a huge amount right now for leases. I mean, how, how big are most of your restaurant projects these days? I mean, I have, they're from like what, 500 to 14,000, but. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's much, much easier to lease 500. But anyway, if you're, yeah, seriously, if you're, if you're around Monday, one, yeah, please, please come by. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful site. You said eight? I don't know. I will let you know. Um, and um, I, I, I can't get. Jimmy, tell me. Well, it's that thing. That thing's not recognizing this. This is anyway. So I had a public safety issues. You know, we had a meeting um, two weeks ago, which is the monthly El Puente meeting. El Puente is the El Puente Wi-Fi transitional facility, um, and um, I went. I brought um, um, Alex Lette from Trammell Crawl. So they're um, doing coordinated outreach now to the few individuals we have in Chinatown, specifically the, the, the four Asians, uh, which was outreach to for the first time in a long while, while yesterday. There's two Chinese and there's two Vietnamese. The Chinese that sits on um, Bernard Street, right east of, uh, west of um, Broadway, will make the same mess every day, and then we'll, we'll clean up the same mess every morning. Um, there's a woman um, sitting in front of Hop Wu, a Chinese woman, um, older female, and then there's the two Vietnamese. There's Dip, um, a, a, a gentleman on, on New High Street, and another one that somewhere between Ord and, and Broadway. So where they don't drink, whatever the issues aside, at least they don't have substance abuse issues, and um, making targeted outreach. And yesterday, um, you know, at, you know they, they actually brought out um, um, the Vietnamese speaking um, translator for the two, and they made outreach for all, all four, um, along with Clarence, the one that sits at 130 um, West College or in front of Bank of America, white dude. Um, he does drink. And they'll come out again tomorrow. And um, that's the only way. But the constant, I mean, for Central Plaza, the, the, the daily cleanup, Plaza Plaza, you know, it, it's just out of control. And then, of course, we saw the issue at Outline Rack. That's a whole other issue. We no longer clean up inside Outline Rack. The graffiti in the pavilion has been there for three months on those day bombs. What the f is this Rack and Park doing? Multiple requests. What the f is, 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 is um, what's her name? What, what's her title? The well, park director doing? Director. Do or don't? I think we put in a lot of requests. <laughs> The city don't look at it as a priority, depending on, you know, if it's visible or not. You know, the, 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 the Chinese um, um, that hangs out as a pavilion, the, the older gentleman, they, had, they put up their own impromptu partition to separate them from the homeless guy in the corner. It's, it's literally, um, a, a, I think it's a piece well, of cardboard. It's a, it's a piece of cardboard between, um, between the the chairs. Door. Sets over there, so they always put in the block of sun too. Yeah, well, we used to pressure wash, but we don't because of all the hassles with, um, you know, with, um, you know, with Theo and, and CCED. It's just not worth it to, to, you know, to, to continue this escalation. But as, aren't you a rap advisor? Yeah, we need one to three to four months. What good is being an advisor if you don't, you can't advise anything? And you can be an advisor, but they don't follow through. You know, but what happened with the senior, uh, what was it, captain for uh, Ranger Corps? So that went out. That's it. Yeah. So things happen and no follow through. I don't know. Um, Can you hear it? Yet? But I, I communicated direct. I mean, Albert Torres was, you know, his batch. I think was zero zero one or zero zero two. Um, he, you know, he unfortunately had, um, you know, had a medical issue and he passed away um, last, late last year. Um, prior to that, he communicated. You know, communi 
connected me with um, the, whoever is the supervisor of the maintenance, and I, I reached out to him. He said, "Look, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff to clean up, primarily homeless issues, but stuff needs to be done." Um, and I think I, I'm sorry. I know that you know whatever her good days are past, but if you're the director, you have gotta make an effort. How hard is it? It's not. How many people work at Alpine right now? I, I'm sure at least part timers. Probably about 15 full timers. There's two. There's a new Chinese lady there. No, but maintenance. Just one in the outside. <laughs> Two half timers, maybe in the inside. Okay, um, please, everybody, help. Go buy a cake photo. Send it. Send it to CD One. Send it to Record Park. Okay, you need email addresses. I'm happy to give it to you. You know, um, but something. You know, everybody needs to push back. Um, well, what? Oh, what was that? The end of the Dynasty Center had um, a Chinese senior female that tried to um, steal some items. There were um, underpants. And I mean, not much, $20, $30. Dynasty Center, a security officer um, detained her. Um, a, a, a defend LA Chinatown you know, idiot came up and started talking to her. And this is, you know, you don't have to stay. There's no, you know, there's, we were involved only to stand by. Um, you can go, go, go. So again, somebody's stealing your product and these idiots are telling them to go, go, go. And of course we end up on the, you know, on the Instagram. So that, that, that's, um, that just, well, I went and met with um, the, the merchant. She was saying that the, the senior and her husband shopped there all the time. She she even allowed them to exchange. What Chinese China now mom and pop merchant, especially at Dynasty, allows any exchanges or refunds? And she wasn't happy. The, the, the customer wasn't happy with the exchange, so she took. I want to say she took double what she originally purchased and tried to leave. So, any other good stories? So, don't know anything else. Uh, are we only doing one to try to count seven nights? Yeah, <laughs> two. I mean, two. Yeah. Number one, we need to we need to you know save money for the renewal, um, you know, consultant. And I told this to to um, to Diane at Blossom, and we've done this for ten years. And you, 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 it's very, very costly. It's very, very painful. Um, and at some point, a business needs to survive, and, 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 and or not. What was the reason we put them both at the end of the summer? Um, well, the thinking was that there was other events that that the corp, you know, that I've discussed with Tony, that would be revenue generators for the corporation. Um, happening in in, in um, May in May and June, and the July date was no good because that was the July Fourth weekend. Our our summer nights are always picked selected from the Moon Festival, and the Moon Festival this year is the first Saturday, um, or the Moon Festival celebration day is the first Saturday of October, and that's how we backed up into those days. But I have a feeling there's going to be other well. So that's that's what we're at. Um, and, and you know, when 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 we have these you know ticketed events, it, it's the merchant business is the same, and um, those are the only events that the property owners um, can actually generate some income versus the free events that they allow for Chinese New Year's and uh, you know and uh, um, Chinatown Summer Nights. So Larry and Ron may not need the money, but there are people too who and, and income is you know income defers, you know, helps defer all the other stuff that um, the ongoing cost. You know, there, there's but doing events to generate business 
is, is, is the worst way of, um, of, of marketing. Your business needs to be you know, sustainable at some point based on your own growth. <laughs> Um, and that will only happen with more market rate revenue, as we have discussed. But if a Chinatown business wants to do something, I think that's the best way for us to help um, participate and work with them. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, large mega events. The, the, the cost of summer nights is just unsustainable. Sure, for summer nights, for the third one, if it were to happen, would it be impossible to potentially fundraise from all the merchants that are, I know, I'm just gonna say, because without a doubt, it's easily one of the best revenue generators for my business, at least, for sure. I, I can speak to, I would say, anybody in Central Plaza um, you know, spend money to make money kind of thing. Is that perhaps we can look at another way of doing something in July, not on the country, but in brand something else um, as, a, as a block party. We also did talk a little bit about doing a, a, a New Year's Eve event. Um, this year, we, I was thinking, all right, well, you know, horse farm carriage will run in from, you know, from Central Plaza to Blossom Plaza to Oreo, Tyler Park Brewery to, to um, Appetite. <laughs> the, 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 the horse drawn carriage people um, decline saying that they, they can't stress out their horses on New Year's Eve, which kind of makes sense. But we can certainly do, um, you know, find a tractor. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> That's even louder. <laughs> yeah. um, but I think we can look at doing something in, in July. Without a doubt. Yeah. That July will be a good thing. But, you know, we, we also, I, I could send you, I, 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 I definitely try to send. Tony and also Martin Scott, fewer photos, and even you guys, fewer photos now because it's just never ending. We'll never send them to the trash photo to Osceola. <laughs> but you know, but this is daily stuff. Every weekend, especially around any any holiday, the, the plaza, Central Plaza is just covered in confetti. No, it's every weekend. Don't even, oh. it doesn't even need to be Yeah, honest. and, and that's, it, you know, look, that's, that's money for the merchants. I get it. And we, we support that. but. They have, they, they, not only do they not want to take responsibility, they don't even want to talk about, you know, cleanup. It's easy for us to schedule cleanup after our event because, you know, you bring in the sweeper truck, blah, blah, blah. But when you're hand blowing or sweeping, you know, that stuff is just not efficient. And, and, and somebody is going to, you know, fall on their ass on one of those confetti cannon tunes, and we have a whole other issue. Roll the hurt. Yes, during our events, Chinatown Corporation is insured. But we will for sure be pushing back as to whoever sold that, you know, confetti can, you know, the group. I, I will never authorize a payout um, from the VIP for that. Because, you know, that's not from us. I can't believe that nobody's gotten shot in the face. Uh, to, no, to, to get hurt. No. And, and, and I think I told Larry before, you know, the count, the range, you're talking $34,000 of confetti cannons being sold on a Chinatown summer night. That's, okay, sizable income, right? Well, you know, <laughs> the merchants and the people that uh, they talk to them, we raise issues with them all last year, a year before. No, I think we don't have to start. I'm gonna say that, you know, an email to the corporation, the BID will no longer clean up confetti cannon at the confetti, other than on that's, BID. That's a, that's a start. And then, that's a start. And then, you know, you can let them know, look, you will not be allowed to sell that on corporation property. You want to sell it indoors? Fine, but not on corporation property. Then, they'll start the dialogue. There's no talk without some, um, yeah, it has to be an issue. It has to, you have to get them over the head or something. You know, look, what, what, what was the Jason Bentley event that somebody picked up the, the, the metal part, right? Yeah. And, and chucked it. And, um, you know, this poor woman was, you know, was had a bloody face. I, I think we, we, we are very happy and, and fortunate and proud that we don't have um, ambulances at our events. So when we have an ambulance show up, it's just bad, bad, bad. 
and pissed off people. So, all right, but as far as the event in, 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 in July, shit, from the, from the proceeds of the confetti cannon sales, we can fund a small event. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, those people like something down. They won't be ready. You know, we had. Larry, they're, they're Chinese. Yeah. The good thing is, the, the good thing is, the good thing is, the good thing is, the good something, you know, I mean, General Lee's, Grand Star, Blossom. Honestly, if we form the mini VID at the Central Plaza or something like you can pay for some of these services. Um, all right, let's let's review the let's take a look at the the, the you know the, the the merchants that sell and their property owner. Um I mean, I've already threatened them with lawsuits if the corporation ever gets sued by them by these things. Only one, one or two people sent in their co-insurance. Oh, no, so, so they're not even, you, you don't even have to, for, okay, for all the people on this, on, on corporation streets, I'm just you don't have to take the insurance right now. Right. Okay, well, I think that's first and foremost. Oh, yeah. you get the fuck out. There's nothing to talk about. That's, that's very simple. That's your property. You're on my property without insurance. Get fucked out. Period. In the, in the end of the discussion. And that has to be a hard line. And you can't be wishy washy about this. You, you want me to be, be the bad guy at, at a. Look, me, meeting, meeting with these guys at, at, at Grand Star, especially when I can't drink at these meetings, is pointless. <laughs> <laughs> it's pointless. It's, yeah. We, we get way more done when we, we have our in, informal meetings at Adam Park Brewery. So, but let's take another visit before the first, the first thing starts. You know, it has to be um, some, and it's not going to be like perfect to start with, but you have to start somewhere. Whether it's security or whatever, whatever. All right? Well, I think <coughs> I'll schedule a meeting first order. Did we just talk about the meetings without alcohol? <laughs> Jimmy, come home. Come on. You know why? It's, 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 they put the new TV, not the old TV. Not the ten year TV. No, that, you gotta get that on. on, on get that on. Okay, your source. source. Yeah, it's on HMI. But what's the correct HMI? Yeah, it's on HMI one. That's correct. Oh, so, so the, this is correct? It's correct, and it's actually the computer is reading the TV. Because okay. Anything? Anything? I, I want to just show show a few photos, but anything else? Any other updates? Um, okay. I will see you soon. Anything else from the, the, the? Well, I just had a question. I just wanted to link to the end. Uh, you you mentioned about the street closures, and you made a statement saying that. Uh, you say, the one life closure was, was you terrible. Said, yeah, you said the woman's right. Good. You said one life bad. What did you mean? From, from, from strictly from a business community perspective, um, first of all, the women's march did not come through Chinatown. If you're going to march through Chinatown and close the streets, First Amendment or not, you need to communicate that, especially when you're the Catholic archdiocese. I shouldn't know about it just because I know about it. Well, what, is, how, what about the impact? I can tell you, look at, if you own a business on a 600 block of Broadway, okay, 700 block of Broadway, our building, there's a huge impact. Nobody can get the police. Just that he's the only one that's here right now. That's all people. Okay, you have to communicate. And again, how many you know of, of, of our merchants on the six hundred and seven block of Broadway, the the three hundred block of um of um, Alpine Street, the two hundred block and one hundred block of Alpine Street are Catholic in general. There's no support. You, okay, you, meaning the archdiocese, does this because they can't. That is crap in this day and age. Okay? I mean, I, I can't put it any, um, look, my son went to St. Francis. 
you want to. I was here. You know, we, we support the church with our pocketbooks. But there, there's, if you're a business and you lose that one Saturdays of income for, for some of these mom and pops, that's it. You're done for the month. And, and you may not understand this because the church doesn't understand, look, doesn't look at business from that way. But you have to put food on the table. You have to pay rent unless you're selling on the sidewalk. And, and it's, it's impact. So that's what I meant. Okay. Okay. And um, the first year of the One Life March, um, because we were we were having regular meetings with El Pueblo and the Archdiocese, you know, it, it with La Pasita, we we had some communication, and that year it went straight down. Um, it went Maine to Alameda to to Spring, I believe. But it's still a huge negative impact in terms of you heard about residents that couldn't go home. What the? Without communication, the only communication is from me. So that one to the march, I didn't communicate with you, but the women's rights the march. The women's march, the women's march didn't come through Chinatown. It didn't close streets. It did. No, it didn't. Okay. We had no communication from the archdiocese. We reached out to them before and after the event. Nobody told us that. We have residents that are spending, you know, thirty to forty thousand dollars a year on the rent, and they can't get the Very. Okay, even if they were not spending, anybody not being able to get to their house, sure. I people not being able to get to United Methodist Church, it's frustrating. And, and the main thing is to communicate. And, and it happens time and time again. One life is just once a year, but with these other street closures. Okay, so that's kind of where we're at. So, okay. What? What? Okay, since we haven't officially appointed um, 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 we do have a quorum to for the to approve the minutes. Okay, so can we um, entertain a motion to approve the minutes? Second. Second. Um, any discussion? Um, all, all in favor? Okay. Thank you, Gene. Um, oh, and then today. Um, oh, today this afternoon at three o'clock, I have um, I have a tour with um, CTBA. New CTBA leadership. Well, she won't be on the tour. Finally, CTBA has a supervisor that is a Chinatown merchant and a Chinatown resident, which is, I think, you know, so instantly, well, we, Daisy had us get to have, have breakfast. They wanted to eat me in the Monterey Park yesterday morning at 8.30. So I met them halfway from my house in San Diego. So we have a tour today. Again, you know, people from not in Chinatown deciding what's best for Chinatown. So I'm meeting with them all day. So what happened with them? What, what happened with the, the, the Robbery. Um, ground coming out of East West Bank and um, in the walker. In the walker, and she was moving money from one pocket, counting ten one dollar bills and a transient com, and snatched it out of her hand. Took off. Um, our officer recognized or, or knew who the suspect was. Was able to capture us. LAPD came, um, filed a report. Grandma wanted, they say it's a misdemeanor, not in front of the officer. Right, right, right. They pushed it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, a stale, it's a stale misdemeanor. Recognize that phrase and tell them every single time I want to assign a private private person's arrest. Yeah, so then she, the officer offered that option and said, but she has to go to court. She has to do all these things. She has to testify. She has the ID. She has to make sure when the detective called, like, she has to be available. And, uh, she spoke to Hassan, so we had another person that spoke to Hassan. Like, she couldn't communicate with you in Cantonese. In the Cantonese, no. Um, to, it was mostly to Hassan. And then, um, so, <laughs> she translated and, and she said, yeah, I want this guy in jail. I don't want, this is not the first time that happened to me. This is probably like the eighth or ninth time. I From the same individual? The same individual. He said total probably like $50 if he's taking a week to me, so I have a name. 
Okay, bye-bye. Hi. 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 How are you? We'll see you later. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. When are you there? When are you um, there? Tuesday through Friday in the office. And Mary is in the office. Wednesday through Saturday. I'll stop by. That's okay. I'll stop by. I'll stop by tomorrow. That's okay. I just want to kind of the law of the land so that people can be, we can be up on one. Yeah. That's not a work day. That's 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 a work we're coordinating with you know, right. our guys. Right. Right. So, so, appreciate you guys. Uh -huh. Why are you guys making videos? It's fine. It's fine. It's also my thing. You know, he's a good movie. He's a terrorist video. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God
I mean, you know, yeah. he did it. He made his choices, right? He made his choices. He tried to be very casual. You guys are home? That's true. You're a I'll be ready. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, but there's 12 of March. Yeah, I mean, then, then it was like, then it became like a Mardi Gras. There was stuff that was being shouted from, you know, from by the customers or by the private party. Yeah. You know, you shouldn't be around you. And then I was like, that's when I, when I first saw it, I heard it, I was like, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, but some of the marchers, they were giving it back, just the just same. Yeah. No, you know, what? Wow. And then, and then, then I think it was, it was kind of, it was kind of funny. People are, because when we did the, the, the march last year, um, the, the downtown, you went you went to Pi? I think so. We all walked, but no, it was was it Pi? Me, Marcus, um Emma. I think Emma was there. Yeah, I don't know. We all walked just walked. All right, no babies. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, they, the, um, a driver, a driver came out of the and he talked to a bank of security, recognized that was on the same bank, and he saw the bank, I just want to tell you about that bank, but the driver did not pay for the, uh, you know, the well, there was a driver who witnessed everything, and he didn't stay for the same bank, and so the security guard saw the suspect ran, and security guard was talking so that's when you feel it. But so you experienced yourself. Yeah. No, that means this is a really much bad story. And you see that. But it wasn't that bad. It was like, okay, she has to understand that, you know, she has to go to court. Maybe she's like, that's fine if someone can give me a ride. And I was like, okay, you're right. Um, you have to, you know, like, have to go to court. What does um, Peter A just explained oh, it, and then said, you have to do this, you have to do this, and she's like, yeah, yeah, okay, and then I couldn't understand all Peter of that. Peter doesn't speak Python. He does. He does? He speaks it very well. Peter, you have a Python? He speaks okay. it, like, very well to, to communicate with Ram, because they couldn't, I couldn't understand if she had, like, money, a purse, or just cash. She was saying she was pulling cash from one pocket, like, moving into another, or counting out $10. It was this is pretty Show me the photo. Is this woman the, the woman that you told me to buy all her stuff so she can go to the bathroom? Oh, the, oh I saw her earlier. At East West Bank? Yeah, by CSC. Oh, oh, that's the one. Oh, oh she so is she the one that got robbed? Is it this one? I don't know. Oh my gosh. I was laughing. I was just, yeah, it's her. That's her. She's the one that's this the soap, right? That is yeah. my sumo tangerine lady. Yeah. She's so around. What sumo? Oh, oh. She oh. Oh. She on the sidewalk. And she poops? On the sidewalk. Yeah. That we have to clean up. Yeah. yeah. That is the woman. 
or in Broadway. I have a little, little less empathy. <laughs> you know, why are you going? You still are doing for me, Jess. Yes, Jenna Down Pharmacy has an open and available bathroom yeah. for her. Yeah. Well, you're always, you guys are sold out too? They said that 50 or 60 people from Wuhan land to LA every day. Wait, why are you congested that day? Well, why are you telling us congested? Hello, the average case of the people who passed away is 70 plus. Oh! No, don't stop reading the news. It's 70 plus, according to the CNN. The youngest was 48. Yeah. But you have essentially nothing to fear from it. Except that there's no cure for it. Well, who's going to breastfeed my baby if I'm in the hospital? Mm -hmm. I don't want my baby's death pneumonia. Oh, oh I think they call it Sari. S A R I. Okay, do a chocolate. Do a chocolate. All the 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 Tiny baby. Yep. All right. Oh yeah. So uh, oh, do we? Uh, how, how do we play for all of us? For the live chat. Let me quit it and see that. Let me not promise it. Again. Let me go play that. You did. Let me tell you. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah, so this is the method. Oh, so you're just gonna do this. How do we fundraise? So it used to be one lot. Or the lot, this is the lot that they could Yeah. How so much are you planning uh, to fundraise? <coughs> That's actually. 30,000. Oh. Or 70 nights? No. I know, for it's a lot. I know, for a No, I wouldn't call it summer nights because. At that point, you would have to be like Coca Cola at night. Is it? All the shark Delta Airlines be there. Don't think any of the workers are going to fork out. Like it's Delta. Those people look like they're straight off the boat. I'm going to stay. I have what mushroom? Yeah, I mean I can send this to you. Just you can take a look at it. Let me stamp it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you'll see here, if you read the, book, the findings of fact, these are pretty much how they justify that it's approved, and they'll describe to you all the things, all the um, requirements, um, but yeah.